G'day off trackers, welcome back to another product review. What are we doing this week, Ash? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't normally tell, if you guys can't tell, she normally guesses well what's in front of me. And this week, we're doing air. H2O, baby, we all need it. That's water. Ah, oh, whoops. It's O2. O2, just, just the oxygen, not the hydrogen as well. Lucky you're not a teacher. <laughs> Get into it. This week, I've got something really exciting for you. I reckon this here is the future of 12 volt. Portable 12 volt. Forget those uh, eco flows and whatever those other portable power stations are. You know I hate them. They only have like a thousand uh, cycles, 1500 somewhere around there. They're just, and then you gotta replace the whole unit. Everything's gone. Versus this bad boy is phenomenal. 8,000 cycles. It's made by Big Way Batteries. Australian made down in Brisbane. So not like other companies that charge an arm and a leg. These guys are actually offering reasonable prices. This is 1500 bucks for this bad boy. I'll get into what it is uh, in a minute. They also do a couple of different batteries, don't they, Ash? Yeah, then they do 12 and 24 volt. Mm. And a 36 and a house. They also do house batteries as well. So if you've got solar on your roof, they do house batteries as well. Uh, they have a whole bunch of accessories there as well. And amazingly, crazy cheap so anybody that uses circuit breakers like me you'll know that they're costly they normally cost you around 60 something bucks these guys sell them for 24 dollars so well worth using uh let's get into actual oh do the disclaimer should be ash all right okay so disclaimer first as you guys know this is something i'm trying to get started on youtube as i think you guys deserve to know if people are being paid or how it's all working so that way you can see if you believe their judgment. So with this battery here, all they've done is they've sent it for free. There's no pressure on me to say it's good. I am open to whatever I wanna say, good, bad, or ugly. I do a two month testing cycle on it before I use it. Uh, they have given me a discount code. Unlike other YouTubers, as you guys know, I will not accept a commission. So same with these guys, I've said, I'm happy to take the discount code for you guys, but I want no money back from it. I should not be making money with my recommendations. If I'm making money, that clouds it. So purely just got sent the battery. That's all that's in it for me. So let's get into it. What do we got? We have a 200 amp hour battery uh, and it is fully serviceable. And they do, what is it, a lifetime? Free lifetime servicing. So what that means is they'll actually, if it breaks outside of warranty and there's a component that needs replacing, you don't pay the labor all you pay is the price of that, uh, say like a cell, if it drops a cell, you just pay for a new cell to be put in. They've actually been nice enough to say that I get to open this up and show you inside to, for how good their build quality is. What they also give you is on the front, this is what the biggest game changer is. So this isn't a battery box. A lot of you may be thinking this is a battery box. Nah, battery, that's it. This is your whole battery in here and you get three cigarette sockets built onto the front two Andersons, and then under this one you get your standard USB and your two fast charge USBs. You get a voltmeter which has your volts as well as your percentage used. And if you see up here, you can option on Bluetooth as well. So really cool premium battery. Uh, have I missed anything, Ash? Um, how long does it usually last camping wise? Oh yeah, so camping wise. So because it's 200 amp hour, I will actually now jump in. I've got down here, my old battery box that I used to take with me. So this is the hardcore 135 amp hour with their battery box. I'll chuck this in front to show you just how small they've made it. So 200 amp hours, 135, and that is a lot smaller. So with this one, I used to get, you know, a weekend, no problems. So now this is gone. I won't be, you won't be seeing that anymore. That'll get put away, and this is the main one you'll now see in my videos when we go camping, because you can easy get, honestly, if you're using, say, a fridge and some lights of a night and a camp shower, you'll easy get four nights. If you want it to last longer, no problem. All you do is you pair it up with either a DC-DC charger, you can make a portable one like I've had the guys down at Solar City build for me, and simply plug your car in from your alternator and then go straight into one of the Anderson plugs at the bottom. We'll charge that up while you're driving. If you're not very good with cabling and you don't want to run a cable from your starter battery, 
then you can just get a solar blanket like I've got. Cheapy Kings will do. This lets out 10 amps. So you can just get one of these. You can either get an MPP, which is nice and small, and just put it in there, plug it straight from the MPP in, charging with solar, or if your DC-DC charger has an MPP, plug it into there and then into that. That'll extend your life. You'll get maybe sort of 50 amps put back into it throughout the day, charging with just one solar blanket, which will extend your life dramatically. If you're a fan of using 240 appliances, nice and simple. You grab your inverter, probably don't need a 3000 watt, a little bit over the top. This bad boy, I'll get into the stats, but it will do a 2500 watt inverter, no issues. And you just simply undo these lugs, put on your, put those lugs on there and screw it back up. Boom, inverter will get powered up and away you go. You've now got 240 power while you're away. If any of these components break, all you're replacing is the actual component where with those portable power stations, you have to replace the whole thing. So to me, the future of camping is definitely right here. And how I run them, I don't use any charges or anything. I may use solar if I'm away for a couple of days, but I purely just get myself an AC charger, charge it up before I go. When I get home, I chuck it on. For this one, uh, I think it takes will take a fair bit of time, so I'll just leave it on overnight and when I wake up in the morning she's back at full but honestly that's how you make a portable power station don't worry about any cabling chuck this in and away you go you guys know that I'm big on just trying to get you guys out there and enjoying being away from civilization being away from the hustle and bustle this here will do it so as you can see I'm really passionate about it what's next Ash should we get into some stats are we gonna open her up I reckon we'll leave opening up till the end. Uh, I'll give you guys all the stats so you can see why I'm so impressed with it because it's not just the design that they've nailed, all the components inside are perfect as well. So let's do stats, then we'll finish with opening it up. Okay, so first off, I'll show you guys the Bluetooth app. So I'll have it up here on the screen. It gives you all the information you need. So it'll give you the total voltage that's left on it. It'll give you the percentage up the top that's left, it'll give you current amps that you're drawing. It also really cool, gives you the watts that you're drawing, where the hardcore one doesn't do it. Uh, it doesn't unfortunately tell you how many amp hours are left in the battery, I'd love for that to be added. And it does give you your cycles down the bottom and it gives you your temperature of what the battery's on as well. And down the very bottom, it'll actually give you each cell uh, and what the voltage is of each cell. So pretty much everything you need right there in that app, nothing that you don't into the stats the most important part so the price of it is 15 so $1,529 is regular retail price as I mentioned there's a discount code I've got down here to save you guys some money the size it's a 200 amp hour they do a whole bunch of different sizes they've got a hundred uh, they got a 200 I think it's 280 or 400 they've got honestly a whole bunch of different sizes that you can pick from uh, so for the inverter, it actually is really good. It has a nice big output where you can use a 2,500 2, watt inverter. Remember, not all 200 amp hour batteries can do a 2,500 watt inverter. You have to make sure what the maximum output is. Uh, cycles, it'll do 8,000 cycles at 80%, which is huge. That's right at the end of the scale of your top end batteries can do that. Uh, maximum continuous output is 2,560 watts. Maximum continuous charge is 100 amps. Maximum continuous discharge is 100 amps. And then it can do a pulse of 200 amps for 30 minutes. So if you're gonna use a big power hungry uh, 240 volt appliance, you can only use it for 30 minutes with this battery. Uh, usable capacity, not 100%. Unfortunately, you can't take it all the way. There's not many batteries that do let you do that, but they'll still allow you to go to 90% every single time. Uh, recommended charging is 100 amps, which is huge. Not many batteries actually recommend to charge up to 100 amps. Your temperatures you're allowed to use it in, zero to 50 degrees is for charging. Discharging is minus 20 to 60. The size of it, so it's 35 by 19 by 
by 19.5 by 27 centimeters and it weighs 36 kilos. The material that's used, it's a heavy duty 304 stainless steel. So that means you won't get any of your rust, you won't get any of your discoloration because it's a 304 stainless. Uh, there is no IP rating and unfortunately you give up the IP rating to be able to have that serviceability of the battery. And to me, it's gonna go in a car, so I don't care about it having an IP rating. I'd rather have a battery that if I'm putting, spending 1500 bucks, they can pull it open and replace the cell for me and keep it going for 10, 20 years, however long you want it to go for. So that's all the stats all done. Next run two, what are we doing next, Ash? Opening it up. We are, so this will be exciting. I've never actually got to see inside of a battery, so. So let's take a look what's in here. As I said, I've never actually seen. What does this do? So guys, I didn't do too well at electronics at school, but what I've been able to find is, Ash, if you look in here, there's the fuses. So you've all got, you got fuses on that whole panel at the front. There's two fuses in there. Uh, and then I reckon that's probably the BMS and this would be the transmitter to the Bluetooth. The actual individual cells are underneath. Unfortunately, it would have been really cool if I could get this out, but for me to get this out, I'll have to undo all the cabling, and I don't want to risk not putting it back together right or shorting it out by accidentally touching something, as 12 volt doesn't really like touching certain surfaces. You can literally short it out. So it's as much as I'll be able to show you. I, helped, I hope for you guys that was pretty interesting getting to see inside one of these batteries. Uh, that'll do for this video. If you're interested in one of these, I highly recommend it. This is honestly, I reckon, the future of 12 volt and you can get a discount code with it. So as always, guys, if you're liking these videos, like, comment, subscribe. And as I'm going to say now, just get out there and enjoy it. You don't need all the best toys. Buy one of these and you're out there. You won't need to get your car all wired up. So just get out there and enjoy. See ya.